Hi, this is Michael with Blurry Pixel, and this is a quick tutorial on how to export a position at Normal Pass from Maya and use it with the Pixel Cloud plugin for After Effects to relight an animation. So, getting started here, I have my Maya scene open, and I need to create a new render layer. So, I'll go ahead, select all the objects that I need in my render layer, click, click the uh, Create New Layer button in the Render Layer tab, rename it Passes. And I'll need to create a new material override. So right click that render layer, overrides, create new material override, and choose surface shader. I'll rename that shader P Pass Shader. And I will connect the sampler info node to the out color. So I'll find the sampler info node under the utilities. and then connect the point world to the out color. Great. Now we need to change the render setting overrides. So with that render layer selected, open up our render settings panel. Make sure we have an override or we're already set to mental ray and then Default everything to the production presets. Go down to frame buffer under the quality tab and create a layer override and make sure that it is RGBA float. Go to our common tab and make sure that our image format is overrided to an open EXR. Now go to the passes tab and create a new render pass for our normal pass. Choose either material normal world space or object normal world space. Use material if you're using bump mapping and associate that with the current render layer. And that's that. Uh, one more thing, uh, you also want to make sure that if you have a uh, lens shader on your camera, you want to make sure that that's either disconnected for this pass or that all the uh, settings have no effect. So that's something to keep in mind for those of you working in linear space. And lastly, what we want to do is to export the uh, render camera. So select the render camera and file, export selection, and export it as a Maya ASCII file. Okay, so after rendering, I've uh, opened up After Effects and I've already imported my passes and image files. I've also pre-matted my beauty pass. So uh, first, I will import the uh, Maya file containing my render camera. After Effects can import Maya ASCII files, but only camera and locators renamed as null, and only bake keys for animation. But uh, for the most part, it does a pretty good job. So after importing the camera, I need to set up the project. Uh, so select the passes footage, which should be an EXR, and change the interpret footage settings by right-clicking going to interpret footage main and under the uh, color management tab selecting preserve RGB. Also we need to make sure that we are working in a 32 bits per channel project. Now we can import our files into a new composition so I'll select my pre-matted beauty pass and my passes footage, drag that into a new composition and rename that comp main all right, now I'll duplicate the passes layer, name one of the layers position, and the other layer, I'll pre-comp that and name it normal, leave all attributes, and hit OK. Now go into that pre-comp composition, select the layer, and apply the extractor effect by going to Effect, 3D Channel, Extractor. Now click the channel info and in the pop up dialog select normal X for red, normal Y for green, and normal Z for blue. And we should have our normal pass. Going back to the main composition, we'll turn off all the layers, create a new solid, rename that pixel cloud, 
make sure that it is comp size and now we need to copy over our camera. So open up the composition that has our imported camera. Now here's a gotcha with importing cameras from Maya. If the dimensions of the Maya file was some preset like in this case it was 640 by 480, After Effects will import it into what it thinks you want it to output to. So in this case the composition that it imported to was actually 720 by 486. Also, when you import, you want to make sure that the camera was set to measure the film size horizontally in Maya so that it matches that setting when it is imported into After Effects. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll select the camera, hit Control C to copy, go back to our main composition, Control V to paste our camera. Now go back to that uh, composition containing our camera, double click on the, uh, the camera layer and remember the focal length which in this case is 35 millimeters. Cancel out of that dialog and return to the main composition and then paste that same focal length into that camera. So in this case the focal length that was changed to 39.38 we want it to be 35. Also remember that the focal length is dependent on the comp size. So if you copy and paste between comps, keep this in mind. So now select the pixel cloud layer and apply the pixel cloud effect by going to effect, blurry pixel, pixel cloud. Now we need to create a reference camera. So select our camera, duplicate it, and rename it ref cam. Move that down to the bottom of, of the stack. And in the pixel cloud effect panel, click the link reference camera button and choose our ref cam. Now go back to the top of the effect panel and under source layer choose our beauty pass. Under position pass choose our position layer. Under normal pass choose our normal layer. Now you may start to see the pixel cloud but we still need to adjust the pass settings. So open up the position pass adjustment and click invert Y and invert Z. Do the same thing for the normal pass adjustment, enabling invert Y and invert Z. Now we're all set to relight. I'll go ahead and add some lights and position it as I uh, choose. And when we're ready to render, we can go back to Pixel Cloud and change the render mode to 2D relight and render it out. And that was a quick tutorial on how to create a position a normal pass from Maya and use it with Pixel Cloud in After Effects.